all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and as you can see we picked up the brand new paywall character that is echo from the monthly bio subscription got it to tier two and for this video i wanted to give you guys my first impressions on her i think she's actually a pretty good tier two character however do keep in mind that in today's climate can't really do too much with tier two characters you can't use them in story mode to farm fragments you can't use them in world boss legend they're not going to be abx meta they're not going to be timeline battle meta the only reason to get this character is if you're still playing world boss ultimate or if you need another body for alliance conquest or for shadowlands so if you don't care about those three pieces of content or if you don't need additional characters for those pieces of content then you don't need her at all okay that's just my opinion on her right now i have no idea why the devs decided to release a tier 2 character that could not be transcended or tier 3 she has a really good leadership she has damage accumulation she has self-healing guaranteed dodge and some really really cool looking skills i personally i'm a big fan of her skills and i know some of you guys who are big fans of Jean gray it'll be pretty salty about her animations because they look really cool and you'll be like man this is what Jean gray should have gotten da, 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 da. but i'm okay with other characters being relevant besides Jean gray right now so this is her fifth skill i really really like it her fourth skill is pretty cool as well. She's rising like the phoenix and there's a bunch of phoenix around her and then she erupts in a phoenix blast there. That's actually pretty cool. Her third skill, she actually punches you up. It's actually, it's okay. I, I personally cancel that for my rotation. I like her two skill. Let me actually um, zoom out a little bit more so you can see it. Her one skill is um, pretty nice as well. I think the coolest thing about her two skill is it's a long iframe and it's on a short cooldown. You can see it's a full iframe so this for alliance conquest it's actually pretty useful because of the aoe you could probably um guard break people with that it says like what i think 11 hits something like that is there like three two mobs being hit right yeah i think there's a level hits if you separate the the people um, i don't think her basic attack does anything no, no it's not anything cool her first skill, just uh, Phoenix Eruption. One thing I find to be an issue with her though is um, you can't really cancel any of her skills and get the residual effect. So like if I were to turn off the SFX here, which I like to play with SFX off, so I'll show you. If I were to cancel the four early, you can see I don't get anything. If I cancel the five early, you can see I don't get anything. And if I cancel the three early, I still get the attack buffs and stuff, but I don't get any residual fire damage. So it's like they possibly design her to work well with a ctp of rage but the thing is why would you give a ctp of rage to a tier 2 character that can't be transcended or tier 3 right now it just doesn't make sense anyways i gave her a 180 damage proc and i gave her eight six star physical attack um rules and i think i'm gonna leave her like that for now i'm probably gonna get her to level 70 gear 25 just because of this event um, a bunch of whales are going to do their thing and give her Odin's blessings and whatnot. I would highly advise against it. You can already see that this guy gambled to pick up the artifact for her. He just wants rank 1 and that's completely fine. You know, whales like those keep the game afloat. But honestly, uh, of course they're going to do that. and make it so the ranking event is for crystals to force, well not force people, but to um, incentivize people to spend money so they can get some crystals out of it and if they do get some crystals back then they kind of make their money but it is what it is point is majority of you guys don't need the character it's kind of a, a dry update if you will i really like um how she looks though it looks really really cool anyways we're going to take her into world boss ultimate and i want to keep that in mind okay it's ultimate i have 25 percent tears so much attack <sighs> I really would have loved to see how she performs against Null, Mephisto, you know, Ultron even. But unfortunately, the devs decided that they wanted to bring Infinity Ultron in, make him incredibly difficult, but they don't want to give us Echo as a tier 3 character so we can play against Ultron. It's been a long time since we've used a tier 2 character. So let's find out how well she performs. Stage 99 Proxima should be a decent test, I guess, since she's a physical character. Hmm. It's a shame you can't cancel the five and then proc on the four consistently because I think you do way more damage because of the residual fire that's lingering.
Yeah, we can kind of keep her locked down. Ooh. Okay, we missed a proc there. But we're like keeping Proxima completely locked down. She can't even go in her cutscene. Ooh. Just because I landed the proc on the four, I was just riding it out and Proxima got away from us. Nice, nice. Okay, so she actually did pretty well, but again, this is this is World Boss Ultimate, man. The fact that I can't test her in World Boss Legend, that's a real bummer. All right, boys, let's see how she does against Corvus. I'm gonna use the same exact team up. Let's go. It's a shame none of her skills are canceled, man. I really think. Okay. Let's see if we can. See, like, when we get the five to land and then also be hitting with the four at the same time, you can see that we do more damage. Like, we slam down. There's a residual pool of fire beneath Corvus, and then we proc on the four. And then the five and the four hitting at the same time, the bar moves a lot faster. You can see it, see? Okay, get out of my face. I like that eruption. It's very, like quick i think that would be a skill that would be really good for ultron when he's in his optimization phase see if we can just keep uh trolling him oh did we get him i think we got him <laughs> oh man so close i was trying to land uh okay I was trying to land the um, the five and the four at the same time. I know some of the attacks are missing because we don't have ignore dodge. And that's fine. I just didn't want to use any strikers. Her paralysis is actually pretty cool though. You can see that with the paralysis stopping Corvus a lot. <laughs> We're making this fight trivial. Yeah, she's a pretty, pretty cool character, I guess. It's just a shame we can't put it to the ultimate test, you know, boys? But what are we going to do about it? Nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's actually pretty cool that you can basically just abuse the paralysis on her two skill a lot in World Boss Ultimate and stop the bosses from doing a lot of the goofy mechanics that would kill you. All right, boys. Let's see if we can actually take down Thanos. I have my doubts, but we'll try nonetheless. Considering she's level 60 tier 2. I have my doubts. But maybe, just maybe it's possible. We're insta-canceling the two in order to abuse the uh, paralysis and stop Thanos in his tracks. Oh, I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> We're just going to keep using the two off cooldown. We miss our proc, but it's fine. It's better than going through the um, the whole cutscene thing with Proxima and Corvus. Well, not a cutscene, the phase transition, I would say. We save a bunch of time because we can just keep dealing damage to him. I think she's built for a judgment because you just have like a steady output of damage instead of relying on like a burst. But if she had a six skill, who knows if that would have been the burst skill, right? 
but the paralysis is actually pretty clutch for the first half of this fight to save time. Gotta be careful. Hopefully he doesn't kill us. Oof. That would have been really bad. Let's have him jump here. Then go behind him. He's gonna turn around. We just finesse him. Go here. Do three and five. Now we're gonna follow a straight three, five, four rotation to some degree. Just dodge these. I don't think we can tank even one of them. Okay. Okay. Nope, I don't think we can tank anything from that. It's been so long since I've actually fought Thanos and struggled. So like, <laughs> yeah, this is like fresh boys. Oh, come on. I was hoping that would be enough to send him over the edge. There you go. Okay. Alright, let's not get caught up by the blade twister here. We have two minutes to take off eight bars. We might be able to do it. Okay, we're gonna have to Try not to get hit. Have him jump. And then watch to see what he's doing. He does the laser beam. We iframe behind him. Okay, cool. He does that. He does it three times. Okay, we run around him. We find a gap and then we attack him. Force him to go down to five bars. It's close. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Do a little bit of damage there. I want to try and get him to the center of the map when he jumps here. So we're going to go three, then five, four, and two. I'm gonna do this five times. All right, he's gonna jump at me. Okay, three and five and four. Okay, let's not get her killed. We got like <laughs> pretty much no time left. I know some of you guys be like, yo, you play like trash. Bro, this is day one of having her. Relax. And she's tier two. Hey, man, you know what? She got it done. 15 seconds left. Could I have played a little bit better? Maybe, possibly. I don't think she's like a build to be used with a damage proc. I really don't. Because her fifth skill is so short. But I do... Excuse me. I do think that... um. Her fifth skill, when changed to, chained together with her fourth skill, actually does pretty decent damage. So, like, when you get her fifth skill to land and leave that residual pool of fire there, and then you trigger her fourth skill and land on a single damage proc, you actually do a pretty decent amount of damage when you have these two skills attacking at the exact same time. However, lining that up perfectly is really, really difficult because... You can see there's a full animation that you need to go through there where there's like a bunch of hits going off and there's a high likelihood of that fifth skill triggering your prop before you get to your fourth skill. So I don't think ideally a damage proc is for her. I think if you really like her, it's probably a judgment or a rage, but realistically for a tier two character that is over investing and there are other characters that you can get a lot more out of currently. So with a tier three, or a transcendence, I don't advise it at this moment. Maybe in the future when they give her a six skill, then yeah, a CTP of judgment would probably be perfect for her. But anyways, guys, we're gonna wrap it up right here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. If you like her, you love her, you hate her, let it all be out and open in the comment section. I'm gone. Peace.